Hi, today we're going to be looking at how this stuff, soap, allows for the mixing of water and oil. But before then, roll the intro. I'm sure that you've heard the phrase, mixes like oil and water, meant to say that two things don't mix at all. And here we can see that that is indeed the case. This less dense vegetable oil floats to the top of the water. And will remain in place, even if stirred in. The two simply do not mix. However, we do manage to mix them whenever we add dish soap to the mix. If we pour this dish soap onto our oil, the denser soap sinks to the bottom. But when it's stirred, the whole solution mixes together. This, however, is rather strange, as we would not expect these two opposing liquids to mix. Well, this is all to do with the structure of the soap molecule. A molecule of detergent, or soap, has two sides. The head, which is polar, like water. This is called hydrophilic, which literally means to love water. And the tail end, which is non-polar, like oil. This is hydrophobic, meaning for a lack of a non-anthropomorphizing word, it's scared of water. The polar ends bond to the water, whilst the non-polar ends bond to the oil, forming tiny bubbles of oil inside of the soap. These small bubbles of oil are then suspended in the water. This is called a colloid. To see a bit more about colloidal suspensions, watch our video about milk linked at the top. And that does sadly bring us to the end, but thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please do share, like and subscribe and join us in following videos where we are going to attempt to make our own soap chemically. But aside from that, thank you all very much once again and uh, carry on learning. Bye.